We just got so much Poppy Playtime news, including new locations, new release dates, new teasers, new characters. We now know the name of the Jack in the Box toy we've been talking about for weeks now, and even more. So I'm assuming you guys are all familiar with the Poppy Playtime ARG, but if you need a refresher, throughout the past few weeks, there's been an extensive ARG going on, where the developers gave us a list of files with passwords to unlock them, which we'll talk more about later. And amid this ARG, a brand new account on Twitter randomly spawned called Playtime Co which would give us a few different teasers and leaks throughout the past few days with a lot of hidden messages. And a few days ago, we actually got a brand new video on this account that was an employee safety and rules instruction video. Now, I won't play this entire thing because it's five minutes long, but there were a few different secrets in this video worth discussing. The first one being that there's clearly a never-before-seen character box here in the bottom right of the screen during the video, which brings up a lot of theorizing in and of itself. And most importantly, as the instructor and Huggy Wuggy himself or whatever, reason are going through the rules, we can see that as they discuss every rule, there is some random letter attached to each side of them. Rule 1 had a B, Rule 2 had a C, then an A, then an E, a B, another B, an E, an F, a G, and finally, rule number 10 has the letter D. Now, if you combine all these letters, we get the combination of B, C, A, E, B, B, E, F, G, D. So this may look like nothing more than gibberish, and as far as I know, it is. But for whatever reason, if we actually plug this name combination into Twitter of all places, it takes us to a brand new hidden Twitter account by the name of Rowan Stoll, which if you didn't know is a character in the game who has showed up through the ARG multiple times. Anyway, this account gives a lot of information about this character that we never knew before, including the fact that Rowan was born on April 11th of 1960, and that he had two dogs named Molly and PJ, possibly being a reference to PJ Pugabiller, the dog from Chapter 2, and Molly, the office dog in the real-life mob game studio. Anyway, most of the stuff is over overall meaningless information. However, what's important is that the other day, Rowan Stoll's account posted a brand new image labeled, Archived Post May 9th, 1988, Please Stop Asking Me to Fix These Machines. I work on computers, call a mechanic. And below is this screenshot, also dated on May 9th of 1988, where we could see what looks like a piano, some sort of red hand suggesting we'll be using the grab packs in this section of the game. And we can even see a massive Huggy Wuggy painting or cardboard cutout of some sort, along with this mysterious jack-in-the-box character again who, trust me, we see plenty more in this video. Anyway, a few days went by and we didn't really hear much about the ARG. However, out of absolute nowhere, yesterday Playtime Co's Twitter would tweet at us once again with a brand new screenshot showing what appears to be a train station inside of the game, potentially giving us screenshots for Chapter 3 or the new Project Playtime game coming out soon. And what's important to look at in this photo is actually the bottom middle where it says, photo courtesy of Playtime dash co.com, which upon entering into a browser, this website leads us to a dead link saying the website was under construction, with a support email waiting for us at the top right. And also as a side note, the same time this screenshot released, Rowan Stoll also tweeted once more as well, saying, phones should be working again, had the service provider add a lovely bit of music at the end. And what he means by that is if you try to email the support email in real life, you will actually get a response from Playtime Co saying, uh oh, looks like you've caught us at a bad time. Your support request was received and will be answered with a human response as soon as one is available. And while this doesn't seem to reveal too much, if we look at the bottom, they give us the phone number 616-465-7310. Now, upon actually calling this phone number, we get an automated message from Playtime Co., where basically they just say that everything is unavailable at the time and to call back later. But what's important is at the end of this call, they play this very specific tune. So on the surface, this just seems like some old random song, but in all reality, it's actually very specific piano keys being played here. More specifically, this tune when replayed on a piano goes like this. D, E, M, A, M, D, M, F, a M C M E M A M F A M C M A M D M E M, which are apparently notes on a piano. I don't know. I don't play it. But to make things a bit simpler, if we take the first letter of each of the previously mentioned keyboard keys from the song, we get the combination D E A D F A C E A F A C A D E or Dead Face A Facade. So this is a pretty cool discovery. But what do we do with these letters? Well, after we received these screenshots in the Poppy Playtime FTP server, we had connected to 
in earlier videos about the ARG. Randomly, we were able to access three new folders that contained apparent secrets. One named REC3, which contained an MP4 file under the same name. Another named SEC3 that had a GIF file named Security Camera 4 and a PNG named Boxy Blueprints. And finally, there was one more folder named Private Documents that had three PNGs named Boxy Boo Poster, Equipment Requests, and Notice of Discipline. Now, as you can imagine, we couldn't just access these three folders. They were all locked behind very specific passwords. And I know things are starting to get a little bit complicated here, so let's just start by looking at the Private Documents folder. Because it wouldn't take too long for people to realize that if you take the previously mentioned piano combination from the phone number, put underscores between the words, and capitalize the major chords while lowercasing the minor chords, we would get this new password combination that would actually unlock this private documents folder. And in it, like I said, we have three images. The first image is equipment requests, where upon looking, we could see a bunch of different rusty parts and computers pinned up on a board with seemingly unreadable documents wrote over them. The purpose of this image is currently unknown if it even has one, but the next image we got was the notice of disciplinary action that upon opening show some sort of paper dated on January 4th of 1991 and is sent out to an employee named Patty Hall. According to this paper, she was caught sabotaging the company on the 2nd of January. However, for now, we need to put this aside and focus on the third image we got here called Boxy Boo Poster. And this is by far the most important image because if we look, there is a brand new poster of a character who appears to be none other than the Jack in the Box toy we have been seeing forever now. And the poster even says life is full of surprises, essentially confirming to us that this Jack in the Box toy we have been waiting on forever now is actually named Boxy Boo, which is amazing to hear. But what's even cooler is that if we look at the paper, we can notice some weird writing all across it. And in fact, this was discovered to be some sort of grid-like puzzle where we had to divide the entire paper into a three by three shape, rotate all the pieces into the puzzle, and to our surprise, we would be revealed with a secret message saying, Mortem Apatir 7 15 1991. Morten Apatir, in case you were curious, roughly translates to desire death in Latin. And what's most important about this word combo is that if we put underscores between each phrase, this reveals to us another brand new password. More specifically, this password can be used to unlock the second folder named REC03, revealing to us another new Poppy Playtime teaser that looks like this. I'm scared and I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna die. I had to pretend I'd seen nothing so the company would leave me alone. They took away my pension. They've, they've been writing me up left and right. Four days ago, somebody's happened with my car. One of the tires it, uh, flew off on the interstate. I nearly died. For whoever's watching this, my name is Rowan Stoll. I work for Playtime Co. It's a massive toy company. They made Huggy Wuggy. They've been using all the money they've made to experiment with people. I have proof of it all. Next week, I've scheduled the companies, the, the servers, the security, uh, to be shut down for 60 minutes of maintenance. While security is out, I'm gonna release everything and run. I think they're gonna kill me first. They have something that eats people alive. They don't wanna die. I thought Mr. Pierre was just confused, but he's someone else entirely. I could have saved lives. I had access to everything. It's like they knew. It's like they knew I would never question them. That's probably why they hired me in the first place. Listen, if I die, I've hidden everything I found on this tape. If you find this, take it to the police. Do not let them get away with this. So while this confirms a ton of things about Playtime Co, first that they are in fact experimenting on the toys all along, and also that they were somehow after Rowan Stoll for making these videos questioning what was going on in the company. It's also worth noting that this video is dated July 15th of 1991, which is the exact same date the first letter of the ARG was sent where Rowan asks us for help initially, so we've really gone full circle here. This video reveals basically everything we've been wondering about Playtime Co for the longest time. 
time. And while it is somewhat vague, I'm super glad that we now know all of the stuff. But there's only one problem. There's still one more folder we never talked about. The SEC-03 one. Well, the reason I haven't brought this up yet is because to find the password, we have to look really closely at this new MP4 video I just showed you guys. Because at the beginning of the video, we hear a very distinct and almost glitchy sound. However, while the sound just sounds like pure nothingness, we can actually input this audio into what is called a spectrogram, which if you didn't know is a way to create a visual representation of different audio waves. And upon inputting this audio into said spectrogram, it comes up with a final distinct message that reads to us, Diaboli Intra Buxum, which once again translates from Latin to Devil Inside of the Box. And if we take this weird Latin writing once more and put it into the feed 3 password, it reveals to us the final two files, Boxy Blueprints and Security Camera 4. When looking at the Boxy Blueprints file, we can see a torn up blueprint of this mysterious Jack in the Box character, showing to us how it was built along with some of the materials used such as high carbon steel. The final file, Security Camera 4, might just be the biggest one yet, because it shows us some sort of brand new location inside of the game being some sort of theater. Now, while on the surface this may not seem like all that much, there's a decent bit to unpack here. First, we can see another Huggy Wuggy cardboard cutout shown here, and also a bunch of Kissy Misty statues being hidden all around the theater. But the most important thing to decipher here is we have to think about what kind of character would fit inside of a theater setting. And if I'm being honest, I think one very quickly comes to mind. The one who is a marionette. The one who was originally cut from chapter 2 for an unknown reason. Yep, I'm talking about the long-awaited Daisy the Flower. I think we finally found her purpose right here. She would fit in the theater setting perfectly since, like I said, she's a marionette. And I think this is when we're finally going to see her show up inside of Poppy Playtime. But while that's really cool to discover and I'd love to hear your guys' theory on that in the comments below, let's also not forget about this Jack in the Box toy. He seems to be just as, if not way more important too. Remember, there was this Latin writing that said he was some sort of devil inside of the box. And also, at the very beginning of the ARG, we had theorized that the Jack in the Box toy, who for now on I'm just going to call Boxy Boo, was somehow related to Huggy Wuggy based on them showing up together in a drawing on a whiteboard. Well, those comparisons don't seem to be stopping anytime soon as we see him by Huggy in the first image I showed you guys in this video. And it really seems like both him and Huggy will have some sort of major role in these brand new locations. But if this is true, this then brings up the question, what does all of this mean and when will we know more about the game? Well, it was actually confirmed by Micah yesterday that this is all not for chapter 3, but rather for their brand new game Project Playtime coming out this December, which already tells us that this new game is going to look freaking fabulous with tons of visuals and lore details coming up ahead. But they've been teasing this game through this ARG for weeks now, when are we finally going to get a trailer or something? Well, I obviously can't confirm anything for sure, but while I was in a voice call with a lot of the developers yesterday, they were doing their own little Q&A, answering small little bits about Poppy Playtime and the future of its development. However, while they couldn't say much, the developer Malachi Breckenridge randomly decided to slip out that something was going to be coming out around Thanksgiving time. More specifically, he said one day after Thanksgiving, something new was going to be coming out, which would be November 25th or in just about a week. Now, I didn't get any footage of him saying this, so you're literally just going to have to trust me, bro. But it seems like we have ourselves everything that we've been looking for. New secrets, new antagonists, and a new game we should find more about in just about a week. But when more information comes out, make sure you subscribe here to hear about it first. Peace out.